Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose. If you're new here, I'm a celebrity makeup artist based in Los Angeles. And for today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to share 10 makeup products that I will always repurchase. Whether it's for my makeup kit or for myself, I'll always have these items. So these products are not in any particular order. They're just 10 products that I will always continue to repurchase because I'm a diehard fan of them. So I'm gonna get right into it. To start it off, I'm gonna throw in kind of a wild card and it's not even a makeup product, but it's something that I rely on heavily, very, very heavily. And it is the Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. So I've been using this for the last two years and I really give this the credit for the amount of brow hair that I have. And I know this is a lash serum and obviously it's meant for your lashes. And I use it on both. I use it on my lashes and I use it on my brows. And my brows have taken a turn for the better since using this product. I can't even tell you enough how much of a difference this has made. I have always been the girl with like very sparse brows, very thin brows, and they're still like, the texture of them is still really fine and thin. It just, it's like the same texture as my hair. It's like a fine, silky hair. But the amount of hair growth I've seen on my brows while using this is shocking to me. It's such a huge difference. I will always use this product. One bummer thing about this is when you do stop using these like lash growing serums or brow enhancing serums, once you stop using them, you start to see the results kind of go away. So it's like one of those things, it kind of like, to me, it's kind of like having hair extensions. You start getting hair extensions and you're hooked for life. Or like getting a gel manicure, you start getting them and all of a sudden you can't go without, like you're hooked. Same kind of thing. So anyway, I love this for myself personally, but before you use it, do your research. Don't just take my word for it, do your own research and make sure that it's the right product for you and it's not gonna have anything that's gonna harm your eyes or be irritating for your skin. So, but for me, it works really well and it's the whole reason why I have brows and why I even have lashes on my own, I swear. Moving on to another brow product. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. One of my girlfriends turned me onto this at least like four years ago at this point and ever since then, I've kept it stocked in my makeup kit. I have tried every single brow gel there is every single clear brow gel and tinted brow gel. And this is by far my favorite formula. It's long wearing, it doesn't break down. And even if you're in like a hot, humid environment or you're, let's say you're like going to the beach or you're, you're doing a shoot all day long, whatever the case is, it does not budge. And your body just doesn't break it down. Most brow gels I've noticed that are on the market after a couple hours, like they, they look great initially. And then after a couple hours, they start to break down and almost melt down. This will not do that. It's completely waterproof. It seals your brows. It keeps them groomed and in place. So even if you were to like pull a sweater over your face, your brows will not fall down. They're, it's just a great, great product. It's also great if you're a makeup artist and you do a lot of men's grooming and men have like very thick, coarse, unruly brow hair typically this is a great product if you are in that field and you're doing men's grooming this is like a staple that i highly suggest you go out and get because it will not disappoint you and it will keep anybody's brows groomed and in place all day long so that's another must have that i will always repurchase another product that i will always repurchase for my makeup kit and for myself are the anastasia beverly hills Brow Wiz brow pencils. I keep every single color in my makeup kit. I personally wear dark brown every single day. And when I run out of my dark brown, I am lost. I'm lost. I don't really wanna use powders. I don't wanna use gels. This is like my favorite formula. I have not yet to find something that tops this one. I wish I could because I do run out of these very quickly in my makeup kit and on myself. So they can be a little pricey, but I still go back to them. I still repurchase them month after month. They're just amazing. Keeping with the brow category, this is not actually a makeup product. It's actually a hair product. It's from Schwarzkopf. It's the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue. It's water resistant. It's basically, you'll probably recognize it. It's, I think it's since gone like viral on TikTok, like a lot of things. But this has been like an industry secret for a really, really long time. And it's not only an incredible 
gel for your hair. Like it's extremely, extremely strong. Like this is what they use to lay down wigs or to glue wigs down. It's that hard and intense. This is like the best brow gel or brow glue you'll ever use. It's like four bucks for the size. I keep them always stocked up. I always have one in my kit, one in my personal collection, and then some as backup as well. This stuff is a miracle. If you want your brows to have that laminated, super brushed up to the gods look, this is your product. Forget all the brow gels on the market, minus that benefit one, that has a totally different purpose. I'm talking strictly if you want like a laminated brow effect, forget every single one that's out there. Th nothing will compare to this. They're all way overpriced in my opinion, sorry. They're very expensive and nothing holds up quite like this. Like this is, it's it, that's all you need. If you want a laminated brow, forget the expensive brow gels that are on the market that are super popular right now, forget them all. This is all you need and it's literally under $10 and it will last you forever. And all you need to apply it is a spoolie, that's it. And it could be a reusable one, like a disposable one, or it could be one that's on like an actual wand, but just take a little bit of this product, brush up your brows, push them down with your fingertip and you're done. Now the next product, it's, I know I'm holding up two, but I'm still gonna count them as one. There are two MAC eyeliners that I've used since the, since the beginning of time for my makeup career. I've used these since day one of doing makeup. So it's been a really long time. I've been using these for at least, I don't know, like 13 or 14 years. So it's been a while. And I will still, to this day, go back and repurchase these two pencils because they're the perfect two brown eyeliners. So this one is Teddy. It's like a dark, rich, has a little shimmer to it. So it ends up being really soft once it's applied. It's not like a, a harsh, dark liner. It looks good on everybody. It's so gorgeous on. Teddy is one of my all-time favorites. And then can't forget Costa Riche. So Costa Riche is a slightly lighter, warmer brown. Like it's more of like a, a rich, like caramel kind of brown. It also has like a little hint of a shimmer to it, but it's very, very faint. But these two pencils applied as a liner, smudged out, applied in the waterline, like you name it. You can do so many things with these pencils. They're so versatile, they're so blendable, and they're just gorgeous. So if you have not tried these two pencils, I highly recommend you go out and pick either one up, but pick both of them up because they're both a must have. I will always, always repurchase these two shades from MAC, Teddy and Costa Riche. Moving on to powder, this powder, I hate to say it because I don't want to keep repurchasing this for the rest of my life. I've been trying to find another powder that's slightly less expensive and just has more product in it. Like this is a pressed powder from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I keep every color stocked in my makeup kit. And then personally, I have the first shade, number one and number two in my personal collection. But these powders are just... There's really nothing like them. They're, they really are what they say. They're an airbrush flawless powder. So these are so essential for me. I find myself repurchasing these at least once every three months, depending. I keep all the shades in my kit, like I said, and they're just, there's nothing like them. For on set, when my clients are like doing a photo shoot or if they have a long day or if they're walking the red carpet, this is the powder that I will grab because I know what it's gonna do. I know it's not going to disappoint me. I know it's going to give a flawless finish. I know it's not gonna to look too heavy on the skin. And I don't know, they're just, there's nothing like them. Luckily, Charlotte Tilbury does offer a pro discount on her website, so I do get a discount. So I'm very grateful for that. But yeah, I, I will always repurchase these powders from Charlotte Tilbury. And if you haven't tried them, you're missing out. Keeping with powder, this powder, from By Terry. It's a hyaluronic hydra powder. So this powder, if you're someone who wears makeup but you don't like the feeling of powder on your skin, or if you are a makeup artist and you have clients that really don't want you to put a lot of powder on their face, if they don't like the feeling of it, they don't like the way it looks, go out and get this powder. It will change their mind. So I first started using this powder mm, at least like six years ago, actually, at this point. I've I've been using this for quite a while. And the reason why I bought this is because I had a client at the time who had very dry skin and I was always trying to set her with a little bit of powder and she would always fight me on it. She didn't wanna have like cracky looking dry makeup and I totally get it. But 
because she was scared. She was really scared of powder. But then I went out, I bought this, I tested it out, and then I brought it to her and I tried on her and she was has been a fan ever since. And I have since always kept this powder stocked up in my kit. In fact, I need to go get another one because this one's almost out. It is the most finely milled powder you'll ever touch. It's like, as soon as it touches your skin, it's gone. It's, it's disappeared. It's like dust in the wind. Like it has nothing to it. That's how fine and soft it is. So imagine this on your skin. It doesn't even feel like you have powder on. It feels like nothing. It feels like air. So this powder, if you're a makeup artist, and not even if you're a makeup artist, if you just have dry skin or if you just don't like the feeling of powder, go out and try this powder. It will totally change your mind. Okay, so another product that you guys probably won't be surprised to see on this list is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I mean, I've talked about these so many times on my channel. I know I'm a broken record. You guys are probably so tired of hearing me talk about these concealers and use them on my channel, but I just have not found another formula that's quite like this. This formula is just amazing. It works well for everyone. Even if you have oily skin, I know this is more of a creamy, moisturizing formula. I use this on my oiliest of clients and it looks beautiful and it feels so good. Especially if you have dry under eyes, this is the concealer that is a must. Like you need to try this concealer if you have dry skin, even if you have oily skin, like I said, this will perform amazing. No matter what age your skin is, if you're young, mature, this formula is the best. So another product you won't be surprised to see on this list is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is one of the main foundations that I use as a professional makeup artist. If you're a makeup fan, you already know how amazing this foundation is. So whether I want to or not, I will always be repurchasing this foundation for myself and especially my makeup kit. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. And I actually do find that this lasts me quite a bit. Like you don't need that much of this product to get a good coverage on your client's skin or on yourself. But yeah, I'm stuck buying this for the rest of my life for sure. Last on this list, but certainly not least, are my Chanel lipsticks. I'm only showing some of them because it'd be obnoxious to show you all like my whole collection of these lipsticks. Chanel has one of my favorite formula of lipsticks and they're just, there's something so special about wearing a Chanel lipstick. I know it sounds really like cliche and, and maybe like bougie. I'm gonna talk about how good these smell. I love the way Chanel lipsticks smell. To me, when I think of like a classic lipstick, and I'm not talking like a specific color, I like a lot of the shades that Chanel has in their lipsticks. I mean, I love a lot of them. Like most of them I love. But to me, like there's nothing more classic than a Chanel formula lipstick. They're just beautiful. And I find myself, I have tons of lipsticks, first of all. Like there's no surprise there. I have tried every single lipstick from every single brand out there. And I have tons of favorites. And I'll, I plan on actually doing a lipstick like a dedicated lipstick video soon. But for this list, I couldn't leave these off because I forever will be buying Chanel lipsticks. They're just, they're timeless. They're beautiful on, they're comfortable. Like I said, I love the way they smell. That's just me, personal opinion. I like some fragrance. I don't even know if they're actually fragrance. They just smell good to me. Um, but they're just a classic, great lipstick. So if you ever wanna treat yourself, something special to put on your lips for like a date night or when you're going out or when you just want to feel a little more fancy, go buy a Chanel lipstick. You will not be disappointed. They're just a great formula and I will always be repurchasing my favorite Chanel lipsticks. That actually wraps up the 10 beauty products slash makeup products I will always repurchase for the rest of my life probably. I hope you guys enjoy this. If any of these products are on your list of things you'll always repurchase, leave me a comment below and let me know. Also, let me know in the comments below what you wanna see from me next. I would love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want more makeup inspiration and tutorials. I'm at Makeup by Nikki LaRose and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.